All right, so I'm Maria Cahill. I am um, an assistant professor and I have a joint appointment in the School of Information Science in the College of Communication and Information and in the Department of Educational Leadership Studies in the College of Education. Um, I'm working on School Media Practicum, which is the culminating course in a school librarianship program. The program is ALA accredited and it um, satisfies the requirements for a Master's of Science in Library Science and also for teacher certification in school librarianship. Um, because the certification is P12, um, we have to make sure that we prepare our students to meet uh, their students' needs across the P-12 spectrum. So even though our students are coming to us as high school teachers or elementary teachers, we have to get them ready for the whole gamut. Um, our school media practicum course is at the end of the program, um, and we've been running it the same way for many, many years. Um, I've only been at UK for um, four years, and I uh, know it was the same structure for many years before I came. It's a three credit course and it has three components. One of the components is um, a practica at the elementary level, one is a practica at the secondary level, and one of them is a certification portfolio. Um, all, almost all certification programs um, at, the, at the University of Kentucky for sure, but I think nationally, um, do some type of certificate portfolio where you demonstrate mastery of teaching standards. Um, in Kentucky, we have Kentucky teacher standards and then the special area standards. The elementary and secondary practicum experiences are 10 day um, experiences, um, first at the elementary level and also at the secondary level. And they are 10 full days. Um, and this has posed a bit of a problem for our students, which I'll address in just a minute. Um, as part of that, those practical experiences, the students have to do some type of teaching um, at either, uh, to either a group of students or to a group of teachers in the form of professional development. And then the university supervisor observes those and evaluates them. Um, the program has worked, but it has a lot of problems. And um, we've recognized those problems, but especially students have recognized those problems. And they're both at the program level and at the student level. So at the program level, what we've found is that when we do our observations, we're doing them in person for the um, students who choose sites that are local. And we're doing them video for the students who are um, more than 100 miles away. And we found that the experiences aren't the same. We've also noticed that our um, teaching observations just aren't that meaningful because, first of all, the uh, instrument that we're using to evaluate is um, not very nuanced. And um, that, you know, these are practicing teachers, and so they've had years of experience. And so for us to see one snapshot just isn't meaningful to them. And then it costs us a lot of money in terms of mileage and time to do the on-site visitations. So we have a lot of students in New Albany, Indiana, for some reason. And to travel to see them takes about five hours, you know, like to get there to do the observation to come back takes about five hours. Also, all of our students are practicing classroom teachers and they have to do 10 days at the elementary level and 10 days at the secondary level, which means they're taking 20 days out of their classroom. And if you've ever been in a P-12 classroom that has a substitute, it is not a good thing. So it's just not sound for those students. And then we figured out that um, 10 days at one site is a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. And um, what they're getting <laughs> in some of those final days isn't really that um, useful. And then um, we found that the students are doing their activities based on some like 80 year old checklist of possible activities and they're just pretty low level some of the things and some of them are having to do like to-do lists that are a mile long that are backlogs. So does anybody know the answer to the question? We've come up with solutions. <laughs> so one of our solutions was to convene an advisory board. We brought together some experts in um, libraries, some experts in uh, education, some people from the College of Ed, some people from the School of Library Science, and some of our students, both former and current. 
and said, you know, like, let's look at this, let's come up with something else. So we've decided to move to goals-based activities. So the students determine some practica goals and then um, they meet with their site supervisor prior to the practicum experiences and determine activities that um, will help satisfy those goals. The observations we've turned into um, self-critiques and self-analyses and self-reflections. And so the students now video themselves and they do this structured self-analysis um, based on the National Board of Professional Teaching Standards. And then we base our observation feedback on that. We dialogue. And then we've reduced the number of days, um, five days at each level and then 80 hours across the program so that they're getting the same number of experiences, they're just more um, uh, distributed and they're better integrated across the program. And um, this is our first semester doing it and so far the students seem pleased.